What's up guys, GV2017 here, and today I'm going to rank my top 10 perks in Fallout 4. And before we begin, I want to apologize for no video yesterday. I had a bad case of the mole rat disease. I'm still kind of recovering, but I want to make sure and get out a video for you guys today. Now for my top 10 perks, I know we all have our own definitions for what we consider to be best, and in a game with almost limitless build possibilities, it's difficult to nail down what is best among all the builds. So I try to choose perks that are the most useful for the most amount of character types. And as always, I encourage you guys to list your top 10 best perks for the game in the comments below, because I'd like to see what you all come up with. As I was going down the list of 70 or so perks, I decided to group similar perks together. Like Hacker and Locksmith, for example, only occupy, you know, one of my top 10 perks because they are similar types of perks and they serve a similar purpose. Just wanted to clarify that for you guys that may be wondering how that's working. So without further ado, here are my top 10 best perks in Fallout 4, which are in no particular order. First is Lone Wanderer at Charisma 3. It's a very low investment, so you don't need to make a hugely charismatic character in order to get Lone Wanderer. You take a lot less damage, you get a lot more carrying weight, which is just all around useful, and you get more damage, 25% more damage at level 40. This is such a strong perk, and it's only amplified by the fact that you can take dog meat with you. You know, you can have dog meat with you in Lone Wanderer. It doesn't count as a companion, but you can't take anyone else. Just the fact that you can get this with basically any character, if you give them a little bit of charisma and and all the things that I just mentioned. If I really did have to rank these things, you know, actually in a particular order, I would put Lone Wanderer at the top. It's just all around a very, very strong perk. Next, I have all of the direct damage perks. Now, this is a lot of perks lumped together into one category because they all amplify a certain, you know, type of damage that you're dealing. And so we've got Iron Fist, Big Leagues, Heavy Gunner, Rifleman, Demolition Expert, Gunslinger, and Commando. There's a lot of these. And honestly, Rifleman probably gets the slight edge, in my opinion, because of Overseer's Guardian. It's just a very strong combination. But clearly, you're going to want to pick a direct damage boost depending on the type of character build you're going for. You're always going to want to go for at least one of these and so I think they're all equally helpful depending on whatever build you're going for and they're almost necessary in every, sing every single build in my opinion. Next I've got Bloody Mess. It's a very low investment at only three luck and if you rank it up to the third rank I believe it gives you a 15% flat boost to all damage. This is all damage you can deal and so just the fact that you don't have to invest that much into luck to even get to Bloody Mess and then you have this flat boost. It's all damage so it doesn't matter if you're doing a combination you know pistol build with you know demolition expert both of those together you're just dealing that much more damage with both of those things and so bloody mess is useful no matter what next is sneak and of course this allows you to pull off more sneak criticals because you're not going to be seen by enemies when you're sneaking around and there's a lot of open space in fallout there's a ton of walking around in the game so it's easy to walk up and set up your shots. I do it all the time, no matter if I'm playing a sneak-based character or not, I always sneak. And so sneak guarantees that you'll get those sneak criticals, and not to mention you can amplify it with ninja, which is my next perk. Ninja is fantastic because it goes hand-in-hand -hand with sneak. You know, ranged attacks will do 3.5 times normal damage with rank 3, and melee will do 10 times. That is absolutely insane. So you've got a practical application for, you know, both your ranged characters, your range builds, which by the way, accounts for a lot of builds in the game. Mostly, uh, most of all your builds, like 90% of your builds is, are going to be range, but then it also really amplifies your melee builds as well. So both of these, you know, perks, sneak and then ninja in tandem are very, very good. Next, I've got Idiot Savant, and as annoying as people might think this perk is, it's an effective way to run a low intelligence character and level up quickly, sometimes even more quickly than a high intelligence character if you really go for that low intelligence. And in fact, even if you are running a high intelligence build, Idiot Savant is still useful. You know, some people are of the mindset of, you know, why do I want to level up quicker? You're supposed to enjoy the game. You know, why are you trying to level up quicker? And honestly, I don't really get that mindset. Personally, I'm having more fun when I have more perks and abilities, and there's no level cap in this game. So it's not like I'm speeding towards a level 30 like in Fallout 3 with DLC, you know? You can just keep on leveling. And so I think getting to those more fun perks and really specializing my character sooner you know both makes the game more fun and makes my character more effective and so idiot savant as annoying as that sound is you know going off non-stop is a very effective perk 
Armorer is my next perk. There's very little investment for armor. You only need three strength. And no matter what build you're running, you're going to need some good armor. You're going to need to go to that armor workbench and work up that level. Of course, you're going to need armor for ballistic weave if you're going to level that all the way up. And you can get ballistic weave on any you know character, no matter what. And armor is just one of those perks that I always go to with any build. It doesn't matter. You know, I really don't run any builds lower than three strength because I like to have my carrying weight at least at three, you know, with three strength and I automatically get armor with that. And so you're going to need it for ballistic weave and you're going to need it pretty much anyways. And so I think armor is definitely an important perk for any build. Next, we've got our critical perks, and I've talked about this in countless, you know, build guides and all of these videos. I'm talking about better criticals, critical banker, grim reaper sprint, and four leaf clover. That combination, that kind of synergy of those higher level luck perks, I think it's level and five to nine all of those perks working together are so unbelievably effective the reason i group these together is pretty much their all of their purpose is to you know refill your critical meter and make sure that you're executing criticals more often they are so unbelievably powerful all these critical perks especially when you get them all together and so for a lot of builds that, you know that i've shown here on the channel i recommend hey you know go down this path but then once you get to like level 30 and you're really not wondering hey where where should should these perk points go you know i think working into luck is extremely powerful and if you want to make a pure luck based character you're going to be extremely powerful even earlier in your game and so these critical perks are unbelievably good and i think they're going to be really useful when this new survival mode comes out Next, I've got Hacker and Locksmith, the ones that I mentioned in my intro. So these are a good source of experience and they allow you to take certain shortcuts or get into special areas for certain loot. And this is one that people may not agree with exactly because you can go and get Nick Valentine, you can go and get Kate, but I think these are convenience perks. Um, obviously, I, I really don't take both. You know, if I take Locksmith, I'll take, you know, Nick with me. If, or if I take Hacker, I'll probably, you know, bring Kate along for most of my adventures to make sure I get into everything. But I think in general, this is a quality of life uh, group of perks. And I think they're really uh, something that I go for in every single build. So I see these as, you know, a best perk, in my opinion. My last best perk or another group of perks is Gunnut, Blacksmith, and Science. These together are the weapon modding perks, depending on which build you're going for. If you're going for more of a laser gun, plasma gun kind of character, obviously you're going to go for science. If you're going for straight, normal, you know, ballistic weapons, it's gun nut. And then if you're going melee, it's blacksmith, but it doesn't matter in most builds, you know, depending on which one you're going for, you're going to take this perk because you want to be able to modify your weapons. The only one with a kind of a high, you know, uh, investment in terms of your special is science. But if you're running a, you know, that kind of character, it's definitely worth your while. And so I think these weapon modding perks, we're going to be shooting a ton in all of our playthroughs. So we want to be able to modify our weapons it's super duper important in my opinion so that's my top 10 and i understand i have some biases for example i like more offensive base perks you know all of those critical luck perks are so incredibly good in my opinion and of course all of the direct damage base you know bloody mess sneak all of that you know has to do with dealing damage and most of my perks come from that that's just my personal bias but let me know from you guys i want to hear from you guys what are your top 10 best perks in this game share all of that in the comment section below i'm going to be reading them all right, guys, today I shared my top 10 best perks in Fallout 4, and next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe for more DLC coverage, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. I'm going to go on a quest to find the ultimate cure from Curie because I need to get over this mole rat disease, so I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.